So your PC has automatically updated to the latest Windows 1803 update. Have no fear, today I'm gonna to be taking you through this whole process of making it snappy, making it optimized, especially if you're a gamer. So what are we waiting for? Let's get on with it. Welcome back to Tech Yes City, and here we are on the desktop. We've installed Windows and the latest updates. If you wanna check, you can just go to the bottom left-hand corner here and type in system information, left-click that, bring it up, and it should say here, build 17134. That's actually the code name for 1803, which is what we'll be optimizing here today. Now, on your desktop, you straight away, you got these icons down here. You can right-click this one. I never use this. You can go unpin from taskbar, right-click this people's icon, show the people in the taskbar. I just get rid of both of those. And now the first things first, we're gonna get onto the heavy ones because uh, these are the ones that um, I think affect performance the most. So we type in bottom left-hand corner here, system, left-click that, bring this up, left-click advanced system settings. Now I will be moving a little bit quick here. So hopefully you can stay uh, with us or you can just play it in half speed, whatever you wanna do. Uh, we can go left-click on here, settings, performance, and we just uncheck, uh, uncheck all these boxes here. Just like the last time, Windows seems to reset them a lot of the times. Uh, slide open combo boxes, and that's generally how I have my windows. It looks good, it's snappy, and that's how I like it. Now, startup and recovery. Left click this, make sure we turn off this. Time to display list of operating systems. That's another setting that I just don't use. System protection, it's up to you guys. I usually turn this off as I've never had to use it. I know people in data centers like to keep this on. Uh, it's personal preference. I find it doesn't really do a good job when I've got all my like Discord and all that stuff set up. It just makes a mess of it. Uh, disable system protection, click apply. I like to turn that off. Your mileage may vary. Now up here, we're moving over to the remote tab. Left click that, advanced, uncheck that, and uncheck allow resist, uh, remote assistance. That's just to keep me safe, to know that no boogeymen are gonna be after the yes man. Now, go back to the desktop. Next thing we're gonna do here, type in services. Left click this, this is important because there's some new boogeymen in this uh, message here. We, got, we wanna get rid of them. So what we do is we can uh, hold left click and then drag that open to see what we're working with here. We can left click start us and then left click it again. And that'll bring up running. So these are all the ones that are running. And now there are some new ones that have been introduced here. They're a little bit like, hey, yo, what's going on? We're gonna right click this, connected user experiences and telemetry. This always seems to re-enable itself with every update, disable, uh, and then we can go uh, apply and then click stop. So that's usually the way I do that. Now the next one we're moving down to is delivery optimization. Right click that, left click properties, and then moving on to disabled, apply, stop. Okay, and we're gonna go down to, there's actually another three more in here. So that's the scariest thing. Distributed link tracking client, right click that, again, left click properties, and disabled, stop, we don't need you. Uh, now these next two are a little bit controversial because they're just sort of like hanging around and you're like, whoa, what does he do? Uh, so it's a, a payment one. Here we go. Payments and NFC SE manager. Look at this. He's running. He's just like chilling there. Now, if you use your computer with NFC and you use it at a, a business with credit card stuff, you, you will not want to disable this. You probably want to keep it open. There's probably some fancy app that relies on it. But if you're just a gamer, uh, right click this thing, properties, again, give it the disabled treatment left click apply and stop that service from ever rearing its ugly head at you again. Uh, there's also one more as well, which pops up here and you're like, hey, where did he come from? And that is the update orchestrator service. Okay, now I don't use the orchestrator service. Now, if you're blind and you use this service, you may wish to keep it on. So just keep that in mind. Uh, but again, it's another service. It's another thing, hog and resources. Now already, we should start to notice a difference. Things will already be like, whoa, this is snappy. That's what this guy does. And now we want to left click on this little one here. That's the uh, just the folder and file explorer. And we want to left click view and then go to options. And then go again, left click view and just scroll down until you see a setting called show sync provider notifications. Want to left click this, which will essentially disable it. Left click apply and then click OK. Now we're going to move into the settings tab because there's essentially the first one, which is pretty important. This is update and security because within this, 
there's a lot more stuff. So let's left click this. And now, okay, my, I need an update, but we'll do that after we've uh, done this. So we wanna left click on Windows Security and then go to uh, left click Virus and Threat Protection. And now we've got to left click again, Virus and Protection, uh, Virus and Threat Protection Settings. Left click that, now we can turn off uh, Cloud Delivery uh, Protection and we can left click uh, Automatic Sample Submission off. So now those two settings are off, we can just uh, left click this little X here and essentially move back to the settings menu. So we're now halfway through this tutorial and a quick message from today's video sponsor, SCD Keys. If you don't have Windows 10 activated yet or you need to get a new key for another machine and you wanna get a bundle pack with Office 2016 Plus, then you can get that for under $40 with the coupon code TYCSK. So you get 10% off if you use this coupon and it's already a really cheap price for this bundle pack of a Windows 10 Office Global Key 2016 Professional Plus and also Windows 10 64-bit Pro as well. You can download these from the Microsoft website, make yourself a uh, boot disk for the Windows and also make yourself a backup copy for the Professional Plus so you can then use them on your new machine. Anyway, moving back onto the guide, left click here, privacy, and we wanna actually turn a lot of this off. Some of it, however, we will need to be enabled because of the way uh, Windows is integrating apps and also other stuff with the latest build. So uh, if we keep going down, we'll be able to change this left click here to basics, diagnostics and feedback, and also uh, delete diagnostics data. So there's the uh, delete request and uh, Windows feedback frequency. We want to left click this and go to never. I don't want that service running. It could interrupt games, especially if you're in a clutch play. That could affect your performance. And then uh, left click here over activity history. I can just like left click that because that's less stuff Microsoft needs from me and I'll clear my activity history. Uh, then we can go down to now app permissions. This one's pretty important. Location, that seems to be turned off by default uh, now. But camera, so if you've got a web camera, you may wish to leave this actually on. I used to disable this all the time because a lot of the programs were independent of this setting. Uh, but now we've got to leave this on. So camera on. Uh, I don't need these ones to use my camera, but I do need Skype because I do contact my relatives uh, via Skype. So I'm going to leave that and also camera on this time around as opposed to my previous guides. Microphone. Same deal. Uh, we're gonna leave just that and Skype and camera set to on. And then we're gonna move through and notifications, I don't need that. Account info, I don't want that. Uh, contacts, turn that off, I don't need that. There's a lot of settings though that are still you know, pretty useless. So we're just gonna go through these and left click disable these uh, because I use an independent email program. I use Outlook for example, which is independent of Windows, it's inbuilt email editor thing so yeah, again left click on these getting rid of them just really sort of getting rid of all that stuff that you don't need so background apps i use google chrome so i generally turn that off uh, app diagnostics again there's just so much stuff here that's just left on and it's essentially services in the background that are just really making your windows that much slower so here it is here there so that's the privacy tab all done once we've disabled all that which we did we can go back to home we can move over to cortana because now there's a few little settings here which uh i don't want to use cortana if i don't have to uh, now windows cortana cloud search is pretty much tied in with the search bar and i like my search bar down here i don't want to get rid of it but i don't want windows cloud searches and i don't want my device history when i search for something like system info that's none of these two so we're going to turn those two off and also here we can turn this off as well and then we should be able to go back to home and move on to ease of access now so uh, automatically i don't like this setting here it's actually a little bit taxing on your graphics card as well you can see here the show transparency in windows if you like the fancy look of that you can have it on i like to turn it off because i actually find it annoying as well uh, show desktop background image i like that you know this is that custom image and that about does it for ease of access we move back to home and then go to the gaming tab because what we've got here is the game bar which i don't use at all game dvr is another setting which i don't use so i like to turn that off as well broadcasting turn that off as well so i turn off essentially all these settings here because i just don't use them and then click back on home and then we'll move over to time and language 
Uh, I like to set time automatically off and just make sure that my time is manually set uh, with my region as well because uh, that's again another service that's running in the background that can be hogging things. So click home and now we go to accounts and uh, I've got a manual offline account. I don't have an online account. And so you can just start to see with Windows 10 how much stuff is just going on in the background. Now, it's okay if you've got the latest and greatest. So left click this, use my sign-in info. Um, it's okay if you've got the latest and greatest PC, but if you don't, which a lot of people don't, uh, it really starts to make a performance uh, tank. So there we go. Back to home again, moving over to apps now. This is a very important one. Uh, because there's just so much crap installed here so going through this list we're going to be uninstalling essentially all the stuff that we don't use i've never bubble witch saga 3 i don't know i've never candy crush this one like literally gets installed on every version of windows uh, disney magic kingdoms dolby access feedback hub oh it just the list goes on guys i'm Xbox Live, you may wish to wish uh, to keep this installed if you do have an Xbox One or something, but I don't play Xbox, so Xbox Live is off the list. Uh, default apps, uh, after I install Google Chrome, I usually change that to Google Chrome. Offline maps, delete all maps, and then we go to automatically update maps, turn that off. Another service that you do not need running. Uh, turn these off again, apps for websites, I turn all these off. And then we move down to startup, and I turn this off as well, Windows Defender notification. Back to home. Cool, we're almost there guys. Keep up with us. And now moving into network and internet, it's a left click on VPN and you can turn these off unless you're using a VPN connection via this Windows app. So I don't use a VPN at the moment, on, especially on this computer. Uh, I do use it occasionally, it depends on the data. Um, but then again, those apps have their own way of working. Uh, proxy, we can leave that on as well. Don't turn that off. Uh, now moving through phone, there's really nothing in here. Same with devices, uh, but system, left clicking on system here. This is the last tab. We can move through and there are some settings that are a little bit annoying. I don't like notifications. I don't like reminders and I don't like uh, those other settings. Focus assistant should be off. I don't really need these alarms. Uh, power and sleep, this is pretty important because I like to turn this on high power for a desktop. So we left click this here. So we left click on power and sleep, left click additional power settings. And then if you click show additional plans, I like to left click high performance and then go to change plan settings. Now I like to make sure my display turns off every 15 minutes. It's actually a comfortable setting. But change uh, advanced power settings, left click this. And now I never like to turn my hard drives off. So I left click and then type in zero and then click apply. I also like to uh, put this on here, the slideshow on paused. Uh, and that's really about it for these settings here. They're all pretty good in high performance. So that'll give you the best uh, performance, especially in games. Um, storage sense, this should be switched off. Uh, it's just an annoying setting I never use. Uh, hide app, uh, app in tablet mode, hide app icons on taskbar in tablet mode. I also like to use desktop mode and don't ask me and always switch. So I like to have my desktop mode there. Uh, this is up to you, multitasking, if you like to snap stuff. I never like to snap stuff, it's up to you. And then uh, moving over here, shared experiences. Make sure this one's turned off. And here we go, that leads us back to now our desktop right here where we can left click and type in CMD. And then we can right click that and click run as administrator. And there's just one little uh, trick I like to do because my computer doesn't hibernate anymore. I just like to type in power CFG and then spacebar hyphen H and then type in off. Hit enter and that will free up some SSD space or some hard drive space. And with all that aside, that is today's Windows 10 optimization tutorial. Uh, now from here, you can install the apps you want to install. You can install uh, anything you wish to do, but the base of Windows, everything I've done here is reversible. So you're not gonna come into any problems. And of course we've saved ourselves from a sluggish, slow Windows and we've made it very snappy. So if you enjoyed this one, then be sure to hit that like button. Of course, check out today's video sponsor as well if you wish to get a cheap copy of Office and Windows 10 bundled together. And I'll catch you in another tech video very soon. Peace out for now, bye.